So our story begins as all great ones do in the beautiful country of Finland. It's early 2021, we're in the midst of COVID, Timo Newton and decides to start the company after one of his sons lost another one of his son's favorite discs. I can only assume it was the Berg, of course. And the disc was out of stock everywhere, it wasn't going to be replaced. And it was at this moment that Timo realized he could just make his own discs, and that's when the new company was born. Pretty crazy origin story that such a simple event like that could be the light bulb moment for Timo to realize he could start his own company. So while they only got started in early 2021, they already had initial prototype putters ready by that summer. After receiving positive feedback and PDG approval for four different molds in November and December of that year, by the end of 2021, they were pretty much up and running, already selling discs locally. Just a few months later, in February 2022, Clash decided to make a big splash and sign the always polarizing Nikola Castor to a one-year deal worth some six-figure amount. At the time, Clash only had a handful of molds, two or three I believe, so Nico was allowed an open bag, meaning he could throw Clash discs, or would throw Clash discs, but could throw other discs as well. I remember when all of this happened, pretty much everyone, myself included, hadn't heard of Clash discs, so it was a very effective way in getting their name out there by signing someone like Nico. Over the next few months, the brand would grow nicely, receiving several more PDG approvals in the first half of 2022. But everything would change for the company. You know where this is going. On July 22nd, 2022, when the face of the company, your favorite disc golfer's favorite disc golfer, Nico LaCastro, received a time violation at the European Open. Let's all relive the moment just one more time. So what happens here? He gets called for a time Before this violation. round, so you have a penalty too. What? You have a penalty too. Why? Excessive time. Why? EDJ rules. Step away from me. Step back. Not busy. Clash Disc, to their credit, took no time in deciding how to proceed. The very next day, on July 23, 2022, Clash would cut ties with Nicola Castro. He would go on to receive a nine-month suspension from the PDGA. In the aftermath of the European Open, Clash Disc actually came out on top, I would say, with many people heaping praise upon the company for their quick action, something you don't often see in a sport like disc golf. I specifically remember the actual Reddit post when it was announced that they'd cut ties and tons of people were commenting that Clash had earned a spot in their bag because of how they had handled the situation. So it really worked out nicely for them. Nico helped to get them on the map in the five to six months he was with them and then with his downfall, they actually managed to improve their brand image even further. All of that being said, since then Clash has only grown further. They now have four types of plastic and a pretty full disc lineup with five putt and approach discs, three mid-range, and ten drivers. Additionally, they've grown out their team further, which now includes a Europe team with over 30 members, an ambassador team with eight members, and a North American team with eight members, including Scott Withers, Erica Stinchcomb, Eric Oakley, and most notably, up-and-comer James Proctor, who's had quite a nice year so far. I believe the future is bright for Clash. They make a high quality, great looking product with eye catching stamps if you've never seen one before. I, I expect as they continue growing out their North American team, they'll continue to become a staple in more and more players' bags here in the United States. They really have everything going for them and I, I really believe the future is bright. Clash is headquartered in Lati, Finland. I'll link their site down below if you're interested in learning more about them or checking out their products. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you in the next one.